the whole of Derbyshire and East Staffordshire now then in tier four. The stricter restrictions came into effect from one minute past midnight. It means, of course, that pubs remain closed. They are allowed to do takeaway food, um, but hairdressers, beauty salons and gyms also being forced to close. Now, what does it mean for the pub industry, which has been closed for most of the year due to the pandemic? Well, Steve Alton is the chief executive of the British Institute of Innkeeping in Ashbourne. A very good morning to you. Good morning, Zona. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's, it's not the way we wanted to finish the year. We were sort of promised earlier in the year that things would be back to some sort of normality by Christmas. Obviously, that's not the case. It uh, just seems to have gone from bad to worse. But Tier 4, um, I mean, a lot of the country now in Tier 4. How do you feel about that? I know you're you're so passionate about the pubs that you represent. Yeah, yeah, look, absolutely. I, I fear that we're now looking at quite a personal tragedy for pubs. Um, to put it into context, in December, an average pub would have would have taken about forty seven thousand pounds worth of income, and it would have seen them through. Um, you know, obviously, these very difficult trading periods in a normal year, because January and February, obviously, quieter times of the year. You know, trade would build back towards Mother's Day. If you remember last last year, you know, it seems a very short period now, but that's exactly when these these doors were originally closed. So th- they've lost that opportunity, and many were holding up, holding on to the hope that they had some ability to trade. And obviously, Derbyshire, we were already in uh, tier three restrictions for some of our members who were in the northwest or the or the southwest. They were still able to trade and had bookings, um, you know, as and you know, socially distanced table served, uh, single households, all there to enjoy kind of New Year together. And they obviously stocked their pubs appropriately for that. So with cascales, with fresh produce, and then with less than 24 hours notice, in fact, nine hours notice, uh, they were told that they were shut with immediate effect, uh, which meant they've obviously had to write off all of that stock, all of that work that they've put in there uh, to to get at least something out of this year. So for, for the Derbyshire pubs, they didn't have that opportunity. Some are doing takeaway. Um, the vast majority of that's going to be those that do it uh, will, be, will be less than 10% of their normal income. And th- there's something that which is quite disturbing, which is the government believes they've done enough um, and, and pubs are okay and the financial support's been there. But just, just give you a couple of simple figures. You know, a, a, an average pub um, was closed. Their ongoing costs that they're incurring are about £5,000 a month. The best that they can get from the government in grants is three thousand pounds, and it's as simple as that. So, so they've built up debts. Um, they've had to change their environments hugely to be COVID secure, and done a fantastic job in doing that. Uh, they and every time they open and and close and reopen again at very short notice, a typical pub will be losing about four thousand pounds in that process. So many now will be absolutely taking stock, and we fear uh, that. You know, a great number of pubs will be lost to us. You know, our members believe half of them will fail in the next few months without any changes to support. Yeah, well, I mean, it's really interesting. I picked up on something you said there where you said it it's a personal tragedy. And we all know uh, local pubs in our communities. We know the people that own the pubs. We we get to know them. It's the, so the, the hub of communities for a lot of people. Um, and you said they're personal tragedy. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's all very well for, for people to say, yeah, we can shut the pubs. But these are pubs are people's livelihoods. They put so much of their heart and soul into pubs, don't they? Absolutely. Well, the vast majority of the, the, this is family run business. It's the local business. They employ local people. They buy from local suppliers and they do so much in their communities. You know, we've at the BII have awarded over 100 pubs nationally now for our BII Heart of the Community Award, which is those that have gone out and done something above and beyond to connect their communities, to provide prescription services, free meals to the vulnerable. And they've been doing this whilst they've been either closed or so severely limited in their ability to trade that they're losing money but they've looked beyond their own circumstances to try and help others locally because they feel so passionate that that a pub is not just a small business it it is a hub of the community and then they stand up to that responsibility so yes it is it is hugely personal you know so this is lives now uh, that are being affected we've already lost three hundred thousand jobs within hospitality we fear that that's going to at least double 
uh, over the next kind of couple of months. And, and from an economic perspective, if you look at the impact hospitality has, it's the third largest sector. So when the GDP numbers dropped recently, it was directly attributable because hospitality was fundamentally closed across the nation. So our impact on the economy is huge. We can bounce back. We can be that those places that we want to start to get out to again when we're able to, when hopefully these tier restrictions come off. But we have to be there. And at the moment, I'm really concerned that a number of operators will just look at this and go, this makes no sense. And, and they will just have to wind their businesses up. And for many of them, they're losing their homes as well. It, it it doesn't seem you know it doesn't seem like there's an end. Even the government press conference yesterday said you know talked about spring. Now spring in, in December the thirty first seems a long way off for a lot of people. What support needs to be put in place? You mentioned there that um, all the tier four businesses that are required to close they're eligible eligible for grants for up to fifteen hundred pounds for each fourteen day period of closure. You say that's not enough, and, and pubs are delving into their savings to to pay more outgoing costs. What needs to happen, Steve? What are you calling for? Yeah, absolutely. And, and just on that small point, they have no savings, by the way. I know it's a small right, point, okay. but they are already in debt. You know, yeah. the, the, these guys have had no income. They've had to take kind of loans and, and some have borrowed from family and friends to keep them going. It's, it's an incredibly desperate position. So what do they need? They need realist grants that actually meet their costs at a bare minimum. Um, and for some of our, oh, that's an average number, £5,000. Obviously, we have some incredible pubs in Derby, so some very, very large pubs, and their running costs are, are two or three times that amount. So we've put into the Chancellor just before Christmas uh, a set of grants. We're not asking for handouts, be very clear. This is short-term support to get us past into spring, we'll come back to that in a second, when they can open fully and re-contribute you know, back as part of the economic revival because they, they've showed that in the summer. We all remember those scenes in the summer when the doors opened again. We were encouraged to do so by the government to be part of that reopening of the economy to get people back to work and, and back to the high street and, and all the things in between. So actually, they want us there. They, they, you know, we're such an important sector. So grants are going to be key. Equally, they're planning. So business rates are going to be start to be... Um, be, uh, be made paid um, from the 1st of April and equally VAT which has been reduced um, at the moment temporarily also goes back to its normal rate in April so we're looking for that commitment from the government to postpone both of those for a further year to allow these pubs to, to obviously start to recover their businesses because it's going to be a very long and, and torturous process but they want to do it you know we've got some fantastic operators who are so committed to doing what they'll do they'll go through that pain and they'll rebuild their businesses and it's going to be years to do so but they're looking for that little bit of support to help them through it well steve thank you so much for finding the time to talk to us this morning i do really appreciate it um happy 2021 let's hope we next time we chat it'll be something a little bit more positive um but steve alton thank you very much steve's the chief executive of the british institute of innkeeping in ashbourne